Guys, do you want to know how to install MySQL Server? Also, how to use it for running your SQL queries? So, this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you complete steps for installing MySQL Server and how to use it for running your SQL queries. So, guys, let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just search for MySQL download. And guys, here you can see the official website mysql.com. You need to just click on this MySQL downloads button. So guys, it will redirect you to this download page. You need to just scroll down and here you can see we have MySQL community downloads. Just click on this link. So guys, it will redirect you to MySQL community downloads page. And here we are having various installation available. I will be taking MySQL community server. So just click on this link. So guys, here you can so see guys, it should be MySQL community server page. version. And here it's showing me operating system. So I'm having Windows operating system. So it's detected Windows and it's showing me that. So guys, I will be clicking on this uh, first link to download the exe file. So let me just click on this download button. And now guys here it is asking me login and sign up. So I'm not going to log in or sign up. I will click on this no thanks just start my download. And you can see guys download is done here. Now I will click on this exe and let me minimize my browser. And here guys I'm going to click on next button on this setup window. It's asking me license and agreement. So I'm going to check mark this and I'm going to click on next button. Here we have various type of setups available, typical, custom and complete. I am going to select custom installation. So let me select that and here guys you can see in custom setup it's showing me various features which will be installed. Guys here it's showing me the features which will be installed and here it's showing me location. If you wish to change you can change. I am keeping default and I am clicking on next button. So now guys here I am going to click on install button to start the installation. So guys now here it's done and it's showing me this finish button and run MySQL configurator. So once I click on finish button we have to do various configuration that page will start. So let me click on finish button. So guys here we have MySQL server configuration page. So now first of all I will click on this next button and here on this page it is showing me the data directory here my uh, databases will be stored. So again I will click on next button and guys here it's showing me the default port number that is 3306 that is the default if you wish to change you can change it and click on next button. Now you need to provide uh, root user password. So by default we have one user that is root user. You have to provide password for that. So here I am providing password. You can give any password. That's okay. And I am not adding any new user. I will be using root user only. So I am clicking on next button. Now guys here it's, win it's showing me Windows service configuration. So MySQL server will be run on Windows server by this name MySQL 9.0. So if you open your Windows services you can see MySQL server running with this name. So I am just going to click next button over here. So here it's asking me server file permission. So we have to grant the permission. So grant full access to the user. Just click on next button and now here it's asking us sample databases. So I don't want to create any sample database. So I'm just going to click on this next button guys. Okay. If you want to create this database, you can select it. Now here we have apply configuration. Guys, this configuration will be executed on server. So just click on this execute button. And guys, my configuration is completed over here. It's showing me successful message. Now we have to click on finish button. Okay, let's do that. So let's click on finish button. Okay, so guys, my is done. I would like to show you my Windows service. Uh, let me just open Windows services to check whether MySQL server is running or not. So here in search box, I am just typing services. And here guys, you can just 
press M key and you can just see here MySQL 90 and in status it's showing running that means it is running okay so my server is running now let's uh, start the client so here we have mysql command line client so by default with server you get command line client if you want gui client you have to install workbench separately so i'm just searching command line client and here it has started i have just entered my password and guys here we have to type command uh, for running your queries whatever queries you want to execute you can type that over here so this way guys you can install mysql server and you can use mysql command line tool for executing queries so guys if you really like my video do hit on like button guys if you have any query do put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries so guys in my next video i will be showing you how to install mysql workbench and how to use it for running your sql queries so guys do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel and guys i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes on my telegram you can join my telegram channel i have given all my social media link in description box you can follow me there so thank you guys for watching my video i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye and take care guys